Hello everyone, this is Super Mario Plush Land. Sorry that I haven't been making unboxing videos for a long time. It's because there isn't anything interesting to unbox. But today, I have decided to order two things off of eBay. One of them is a Fire Mario Plush and the other is a Fire Flower Plush. I don't know why, but the Fire Mario Plush is supposed to come out on June 24th and this one is supposed to be on June 24th, but it decided to come around like June 20th. I'm not complaining, but it's kind of weird. I actually had to retape both of these packages for the pre-introduction because I wanted to make sure that these are the right packages. It's pretty unnoticeable with this package, but it's pretty noticeable with this one. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking, so I'm just gonna unbox both these. Alright, I think I should be able to open it. Oh, and there's this other side I have to cut. Alright, there we go. Oh boy, packing peanuts. I don't know why they have to package it like this, like it's so sticky. But hey, I got it out perfectly. Why do they have to use packing peanuts just to package a plush? Come on, use bubble wrap or something like that. Alright, here it is, a newly conditioned Farmar plush. It even has the tag. And yes, this is not from Sine, but instead it's from Jack Specific. Why did I buy this instead of the one from Sine? Well, I bought it to match this. Yeah, this is obviously the one that I use in almost every single one of my videos. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison between these two. His face over here looks a little bit dark, probably because I used this for a long time. But for this one, it looks kind of orange for some reason. And take a look at both their ears. In this one, the ears look just about right. But for this one, the ears look kind of wide. Well, for this one, but not this one. So these are some of the differences that I'm going to tell you guys. Also, before I start unboxing the Fireflower plush, I don't know why he's looking up for some reason. Or this little string over here. But anyway, I'm just going to put these two aside and start opening up the Fireflower plush. Oh, and here's the listing for the World of Nintendo Fire Mario plush, if you're interested in that. But anyway, let's just open this up. Alright, there we go. Is it necessary to be packaged like this? I mean, you have to open it again. This is actually not an official plush, but instead, it's a bootleg. Speaking of bootlegs, I recommend that you go watch this video. It explains how to avoid fake Mario plushes on eBay. You can also just search it up yourself. So anyway, let's take a look at this plush. So first off, the stem's at a kind of awkward angle. This leaf right here doesn't even stand correctly, it just falls like this. And the back also looks kind of weird too. For whatever reason, they decided to put both of these in the back instead of just putting it somewhere around the sides. But maybe there's a reason. I don't think you can see it, but the stitching right here looks a little bit rough. This is just a minor complaint, but there's this thing that kind of bothers me. I mean, when am I ever going to hang this up? I'll probably decide if I should cut it or not. The eyes right here, they technically should be a little farther apart. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. Unlike some other bootlegs. Like for example, the way they layer the Fireflower head. Also, let's compare this to the Fire Mario plush. The Fireflower plush looks a little bit bigger than the Fire Mario, but that's probably because of the head. And that's basically it for the Fireflower plush. Now you might be wondering, what am I going to use these two for? Well, I'm going to use both of them for the pilot episode. Why? Well, you'll probably find out when I release the pilot episode. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Again, if you're interested, for some reason, here's the original listing for the Firefly plush.